Hello, cellos. I'm going to talk about part four for Calypso Simpatico. Again, this one is pretty straightforward. There are some syncopated rhythms, and you can practice that one rhythm. The rumba rhythm is going to come back especially a lot in this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And it's similar to some of the other parts, but you're going to have to hold the bow because at measure 25, 26, you only have one note to go and then be ready to hit that C, C in measure 26 with a nice little kick, an accent. Make sure it's caught the string. We get a little bite. I like to call my, tell my students that's like a shark bite. Can you catch the string and then... And then you go back to plucking at B. But even that, that first pizzicato needs to be nice and strong and accented, bah, like a pop. Now when we get to the letter C, that's the first time you actually have the melody. So. It's a little bit different than the full melody. So if you're listening in the firsts and seconds, they play bum ba da 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 bum ba da da da. We don't have the da da's at the end. And again, you go back to the that rhythm part in the middle, the plot, the place at 55 that says solo section. We're gonna play a four bar pattern four times. So it'll be this one. Again, two times, three times, four times, then you're at letter D, where it changes. And then we play the melody again at Arco. Letter E is still Arco. You don't have to worry about it saying Arco again. That was just left over from some of the score stuff. So you can scratch that Arco out. It's all Arco from 75 to the end. Uh, speaking of the end, when you get to the end, Back in measure 99, you're going to have to go up to the E. You can go up to the E four, and then you're there set for the whole last line. If you go up to just one shift, it's just a one-step shift going from B up to E. You can practice that by itself. Just go or and then the next line will start two and stay there and then the last note if you can play both you're already right there if you can't play both if you want to just play the top D that's fine but the whole piece it's there's not really a top and bottom part there's just that one note that's a double stop at the end which if you've gone up to the E4, D2, F sharp 1, and you're ready and you're set there for the whole rest of that. Everything else is in first position, straight up. If you want to go up to second position for that, uh, then get back to first for this, back at 42, 41, 42, that's okay. So. I think that's a little too soft to stay on the D string. I would go, but then shift here to one, then shift back. Then you go back to plucking. As always, when you pizzicato, you want to pull to the side, not straight up and down, because you don't want you don't want that snap. You want the nice round pits, even on the accented one. And you may want to damp the strings a little bit. If your cello rings a lot, you, you can just, just lightly damp it with your left hand in between the notes if the ringing is really long. Um, don't, oh, the one other thing over there at 75, 60, at measure 79, you see the big number four. That means there's four measures of rest there. 
So the last measure on that is actually 83. So that's 79, 80, 81, and 82. And that's just four measures of rest. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment or email me or reach me on Facebook. And we're going to play through the whole thing. So have fun. Play through part four. You'll hear click, 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 then we play. So let's do this. <laughs> 